The arsonist is a person with an obsessive preoccupation with fire setting. These individuals often have developmental histories filled with sexual and physical abuse. Common among serial arsonists is the proclivity to be loners, have few peers, and absolutely fascinated by fire and fire setting. Serial arsonists are highly ritualistic and tend to exhibit patterned behaviors as to their methodologies for setting fires. Preoccupied by fire setting, arsonists often fantasize and fixate upon how to plan their fire setting episodes. Once their target is set ablaze, some arsonists experience sexual arousal and proceed with masturbation while watching. Despite their pathological and ritualistic patterns, the serial arsonist feels pride in his actions. Thanatophilia, necrophilia and necrologies all define the same type of disordered person. These are people and they do exist who have a sexual attraction to corpses. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders by the American Psychiatric Association classifies necrophilia as a paraphilia. A paraphilia is a biomedical term used to describe a person's sexual arousal and preoccupation with objects, situations, or individuals that are not part of normative stimulation and may cause distress or serious problems for the person. Hence, a necrophile's paraphilia is sexual arousal by an object, a deceased person. Experts who have compiled profiles of necrophiles indicate they have tremendous difficulty experiencing a capacity for being intimate with others. For these people, sexual intimacy with the dead feels safe and secure rather than sexual intimacy with a living human necrophiles have divulged in interviews feeling a great sense of control when in the company of a corpse a sense of connection becomes secondary to the primary need for perceived control a serial killer is a true human predator typically defined as someone who murders three or more people over a period of 30 days or greater Interviews with most serial killers have revealed they experience a cooling-off period between each murder. The serial killer's cooling-off period is a perceptual refractory period whereby they are temporarily satiated with their need to cause pain to others. Criminal psychology experts have hypothesized their motivation for killing is the pursuit for an experience of psychological gratification only achieved via brutality. After they murder, these individuals feel a sense of release combined with egotistical power. The experience for them brings such gratification that they become wanton to feel the experience of release and gratification once again. The term serial killings means a series of three or more killings, not less than one of which was committed within the United States having common characteristics such as to suggest the reasonable possibility that the crimes were committed by the same actor or actors. FBI sexual assault, rape, humiliation and torture are often involved during the course of their murders. Experts at the Federal Bureau of Investigations have outlined other motivations in addition to anger, rage, attention-seeking, thrill-seeking, and monetary gain. Often serial killers exhibit similar patterns in their choice of victims, how they murder their targets, and methods for disposal of the body. Criminal experts trained in behavioral analysis concur serial killers have a history of significant emotional, behavioral, and social pathology. Although not absolute, serial killers tend to exhibit certain behavioral traits that can be identified and studied.